people carriers have fallen out of favor, as buyers have shifted to crossovers. But don't be too keen to follow the crowd if you've got a large family to transport, because nothing can match the usability of a full-size MPV. The problem is that many car makers gave up on this segment a while ago, recognizing that tastes have changed. As a result your choices are limited, but we'd say the Sharon is one of the best options with its sliding doors, efficient engines, and roomy cabin. The seat Alhambra and Ford Galaxy can be bought for less, though, so haggle hard to make sure you get your Sharon at the right price. Volkswagen should know a thing or two about MPVs. After all, it built the first one, the Type 2, which it introduced as long ago as 1949. Incredibly, the Type 2 stayed in production all the way until 2013, by which point VW had launched a more mainstream people carrier, the Sharon. This had been developed with Ford and launched back in 1996. An all-new Sharon followed in 2010, but was now unrelated to its Ford Galaxy rival. Seven years after its introduction, the Sharon still has what it takes thanks to its excellent refinement, car-like driving experience and typically solid VW interior. Trouble is, reliability can be a little patchy, so here's what to look for. History The first Sharon MK2S arrived in UK showrooms in November 2010. Buyers could pick from S, SE, Cell, and Executive trim levels, while there was a choice of either 1.4 TSI petrol or 2.0 TDI diesel engines, with the latter coming in 138 bhp or 168 bhp forms. For those in a hurry there was a 197 bhp 2.0 TSI petrol option, but as with the 1.4 TSI, sales of these were low and this edition was dropped within a couple of years, you're unlikely to find one for sale. In October 2015 a refreshed Charon was revealed, but changes were minimal. All engines were now Euro 6 compliant and more efficient than before, while all cars got additional standard equipment. Which one should I buy? Even the least powerful engine, the 2.0 TDI 115, offers enough muscle for relaxed cruising, while manual and automatic boxes are superb to use. The Charon S gets a DAB radio, 3-zone climate control, powered windows front and rear, electrically heated, and adjustable door mirrors and tire pressure monitoring. Move up to the SE for 16-inch alloy wheels, cruise control, Bluetooth, parking sensors front and rear plus automatic lights and wipers. The driver's seat also has electric adjustment. Cell trim increases the alloy wheel size to 17 inches and adds privacy glass, a panoramic sunroof, Alcantara, and leather trim, front seat heating and an upgraded